Hey everybody and welcome to HeartShift TV. I'm Marcy Newman, your host, and I'm also known as the HeartShift Coach. And in fact, I'm the only HeartShift Coach in the whole world. But I'll tell you more about that in a moment and how that all started for me. But I want to invite you to become part of a community that I believe is fundamentally essential for the lives that we are here to live right now in these very challenging times. Now, the, the community is based on spiritual alchemy. Spiritual alchemy is the ability to change energy from one form to another. The fact that this is spiritual alchemy is that through all of our conversations, every aspect of life, every little controversial thing that we will look at, we will be looking through the lens of how we, in the form of our higher self, the spiritual aspect of us, can be alchemists. How we can harness energy, how we can manifest the transformations and changes within ourselves and the world around us because we have an effect on everything. One of the things that we're going to be focusing on um, is the energy of self-love. And self-love is an energy that is very misunderstood and in many instances it's actually become bastardized, completely ignored in terms of its potential to create the freedom that each and every one of us yearns for in our lives. What is that freedom? It's the freedom to express ourselves, the freedom to make choices for ourselves, but also the freedom to actually live authentically without all the constraints and the conditions that have been placed upon us as a society, a culture, but also us in terms of individuals. And so throughout our conversations here on HeartShift TV, we will be looking through that lens. We'll be looking at things as they are. That is the first prerequisite. When you start to look, thing, look at things as they truly are, rather than how you want them to be, we can start to discern what needs to be transformed. And that transformation, by the way, must begin within us. And that's why self-love, from my perspective, is the most important and actually essential energy that we not only familiarize ourselves with, but we become adept in cultivating more and more and more of that energy so that we actually are building self love lifestyles. So more of that in all of our conversations to come. I want to just tell you a little bit about my background. Um, professionally, I actually started um, back in the early 70s as a young graduate nurse. I just graduated from nursing school and also was ordained that year as a spiritualist minister. So I was trained in hands-on healing, trained in mediumship and channeling. And I have to say that life was never the same. That year was a year that the trajectory of my life really took off. And I soon became this liaison between conventional medicine and the world of metaphysical healing. But it didn't stop there. I was constantly being brought different projects where I was asked to create programs for more conventional medical institutions like hospice and hospital systems, ambulatory surgical centers, um, working with doctors and nurses and teaching the actual metaphysics of healing. Now, 
As I said, this was back in the early 70s. And of course, since that time, I have been blessed with an incredible array of opportunities to be the voice for spiritual life to unfold for everyone. Now, with my focus being self-love, it of course didn't happen right from the beginning. It happened through my own life experiences where I realized sometimes suddenly, sometimes with this gnawing voice constantly trying to lead me in a different direction than where I was. But regardless, I came to this place of recognizing that it was either self-love or die. And I know that sounds dramatic, but in the weeks to come, I'll share more of those stories with you. And they are nothing short of miraculous in what it was able to alchemize in my life. All because I made a choice to love myself in a way that I had never given myself permission to do before. Now, what did it require? It required that I let go of some conditioning, some programming from my childhood. And I want to share some of that with you because I think you maybe can relate. And I thought, what a perfect time for us to be talking about this because today is National Love is Kind Day. Now, Love is Kind Day is not a day of hoo-ha celebration. It's a day dedicated to those who are either presently in an abusive relationship or have suffered being in an abusive relationship in the past and primarily domestic abuse, domestic violence. And so this day is dedicated to those who fall under this umbrella. But why is it dedicated to that? It's because we're at a tipping point. And it's a tipping point, not just of consciousness in terms of what we think, but it's a tipping point in terms of the consciousness of the heart coming forwards and creating a new criteria for what's acceptable, tolerable, and more what we deserve as human beings. We deserve, of course, to receive kindness, but we also deserve to be living a life where kindness comes easily and naturally to us. So when we look at these abusive situations, I have to comment first on how so many of us have actually been conditioned, pre-programmed to step into abusive relationships without any knowledge, without any conscious awareness at all. How does this happen? It happens because <clears throat> as children, we are often told, be kind, be kind, regardless of the circumstance. Be kind even though you've been hurt. Be kind even though you've been crushed. Be kind even though you've been physically hurt. Be kind even though you're frustrated or confused. In other words, we've been taught that other people's thoughts, feelings, well-being is more important than ours. And so it has pre-programmed us to step into these relationships where we have forgotten our worth, our value as a human, but also as a magnificent child of this universe. What that actually has done is it has eroded our sense of self. It has eroded our relationship with the greater aspect of us, which is divine. It's love itself. And so perpetually in this state of confusion, torn between these two 
worlds, one that is constantly wagging its finger at us to be kind, be kind, be kind, no matter what, and the other, which actually is coming from your heart that says, you are the most precious being and you are worthy beyond all measure. You are cherished, loved, and you are here to co-create from that love. You can immediately see the disparity between those two camps and why we are so often confused about what love is. So today, I just want to leave you with that thought. How do you discern love? If you are in a situation where you find yourself wondering, am I crazy? Should that be enough for me? When you have been offered love that clearly is falling short of the purity of love itself. If you are accepting anything less than what you deserve as this divine being, then it's time to become keenly aware of the different energies that are vying for position and trying to deceive you into believing that they are love. When that happens and you come into this place of truly understanding, remembering your worth, remembering you're valuable, remembering that you are love itself, the separation that creates that abuse, that creates your willingness to be abused, the separation that creates the violence, your willingness to accept that as some kind of a crumb of love. That separation is the separation from your true heart and your true self. And should you start to discern, you will start to reach for a higher love and your higher self will not allow you to stop along the way. So think about all the rewards of coming back into yourself, loving yourself, cherishing yourself, and remembering who you are. And so until next time, you can find me um, on Facebook as The Heart Shift Coach. You can find me in um, my Facebook groups, which is Self Love and Heart Shifts. If you're a light worker, please join me at the High Vibe Tribe. And of course, my websites, which are www.heartshiftcoach.com and selfloveuniversity.com. And I'll leave you more information for those in the links below. So, I give you National Love is Kind Day. Do with it as your heart leads you. Until next time, many blessings of great love and kindness to you.